Hey guys, it's two back Luke's Vintage RC Car Restoration. As you can tell, the Gizmo Corvette RC Car is finally done. Say, woo -wee, Lucas, it's been a while. It's been a minute. And uh, I know you guys are wondering what happened to me, and I apologize to keep you guys in uh, lingering mode, because uh, we were supposed to have this car done uh, right near Christmas time, right at the end, and here we are almost at the end of January. So, why the big uh, delay? Well. Um, messed up my leg really bad is one thing. Waiting for materials to come in to, to do the project. And just, you know, holiday and everybody and coming to visit. And, you know, it's just what, it, you know, what happens right, right near Christmas time. It's a crazy. It's crazy. Uh, so, apologize for that. But uh, Gizmo's done. And uh, I couldn't be any more happier the way it turned out so if you haven't seen part one i suggest go back to part one you'll get a little bit more information on uh, why we were doing this project and all that stuff so to give you a breakdown basically what we have to do we have to find a chassis to make uh all this happen the uh the tamiya the vintage tamiya buggies from 1979 1980 those chassis are a little shorter so they're not quite long enough to meet this uh 1979 barbie mattel uh corvette so we have to customize that and need to make it out of metal. That's what Steven Spielberg's team did. So that's what we had to do. Um, and we were trying to replicate an original uh, copy of what he did, what his team did, Bob Weir. So then we had to find luggage and had to find electronics that we're gonna use, had to find a larger steering wheel for Gizmo to turn because the original Barbie one's too small. Had to use the Latrax for that. So vintage Latrax uh, controllers have these big, large steering wheels, and that's what we used. And you can see those. You can find those quite often on eBay. Um, then we had to make remake decals for it. I had to use a uh, printer and all that stuff. And so <clears throat> then we had to um, find special pieces like the bumpers. These are hard to find. Paint those up. Find our luggage rack. Paint that up. A lot of stuff. So. Used to me a Subaru Brat wheels, find a spare metal and all that stuff. So a whole bunch of stuff to replicate this project. Probably why not a lot of people are uh, done one of these. Um, also, I will say before we dive into more of Gizmo, we got some huge projects coming up. So I'll go over that stuff in just a second. But let me show you how Gizmo comes in and out. This is kind of cool. So he is just basically Velcroed from the back and to, uh, to get into the car. So I stitched some Velcro to his back. Um, he doesn't mind it. And uh, then I had to cut his body in half a little bit on the bottom. There's just not a whole lot of room. And he's pretty fluffy doll. So it's not super short doll, but uh, there's like that much room. And there's only an inch and I don't know, maybe an inch or a quarter, inch and a half of space in there. So you don't have room to have a full size doll in there. So I'll show you, but uh, so I got special bolts and stuff like that for it to kind of look prettier. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're using a, just a, a small lipo pack and um, a really strong ESC that, that that's going to give enough ampage because it's a very heavy car, all this metal, and the body's really heavy. Everything's heavy. You know, he's weighs a bit, so probably one of the heavier RC cars I've done. And you can tell that by just the way it drives. So I don't know how they did it uh, with all the other uh, electronics that he used uh, in the movie, those guys. But man, it's, it's a lot. So he just sticks in here nice and uh, Velcro-y. And you can put his hands, his hands kind of sort of go to where it needs to go. You know, just like that. Touched him up a little bit, painted his eyes a little bit. I got to touch it up a little bit more, but uh, yeah. So if you're wondering what happened to me, like I said, you know, uh, it, things happen. I got hurt at work, and uh, then you're just waiting for materials to come in. So it was the delay, the huge delay on this car. So, but we got, like I said, we got some cool projects coming up. So we've got a Kyosha Big Balls coming up, a Mud Blaster, uh, Radio Shack Red Arrow that we're going to be doing. Super excited about that. If you haven't seen my Golden Arrow video, check that one out. That's pretty cool. It's a modified brushless one. Uh, then we got a 1995 1 scale BRP um, USA company that I like a lot. And we're going to be doing one of those. A Maru Hunter, a uh, Tag, a Navajo, 
and uh, redoing this power tour from 2005 to 2007, I believe, is when they were doing these uh, big, giant, one six scale Camaros by Radio Shack. So, a lot of cool stuff coming up, guys. So, in this video, you're gonna see what it took to get Gizmo in this stage. Um, <laughs> it took a lot. And then you'll see the running portion. All that's gonna start right now. All right, so now what we gotta do is remove um, the, the uh, body from the chassis. And let's pull this window off. There we go. And uh, so on the bottom of the Barbie car, we got screws here and screws there. So let's go ahead and undo them. What we're gonna do right now is see where we need to cut at. And I've got my trusty Sharpie ready to mark the chassis where I'm gonna cut the chassis off. Cause basically I just need the front end of this car. I don't need all that other stuff. So um, I've got to cut this portion out and then back to. So let's go ahead and uh, mark our zones and start cutting. All right, so now we just needed to take uh, the mock-up that I got, uh, all the numbers and everything like that, and transfer it over to this aluminum and start cutting away. All right, so what we gotta do now, we got to cut this um, K, like roll bar they used for the uh, buggy. Um, because you can't put the body on it, it won't work. So you have to re either remove it or cut it. And I'm gonna think they probably just cut it. I don't think they went through all the hassle of trying to find something that would work. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing, exactly what they did, it's kind of a, a a sad thing to do because of the part but luckily you can get those parts now but back then it would probably it would definitely be uh, a little a little uh, sketch uh, but we're going to go ahead and cut it All right, so this is basically how we got it set up now. I'll show you. Um, I got the uh, battery installed. We're using a zip tie, not a zip tie, but a Velcro strap. Uh, nice and easy to get the batteries in and out. Right here. Just like that, pull this out. And then also we got a nice soft grippy pad that's on the base to hold any battery pack I want nice and grippy. So that's pretty cool. With this kind of setup, you don't need um, two straps. You just need one because this here is like almost like a sandy paper kind of thing, and it grips really well. So you can tell I've got the on and off switch in here. It looks really good. I'll show you the bottom real quick. Just like that. So I've been busy washing. There's still a little bit of water on it. So I'm cleaning it up nice. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Looks really good. Um, then we got the body all done. Um, and then I got a little piece of Velcro right here. You can't see it whenever the uh, gizmo's in. And I got this here, a little Velcro sewed in on the back of him. 
So then that way when he's in there, he sticks right in there. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just like this. There he's in. And then you just get his hands and you put it, you can put them on the steering wheel nice and easy. So looks really good. Let's go ahead and uh, put it on, to put the body onto the car, on the chassis, and then uh, we'll take it for a test drive. All right, well, everybody's been waiting on. Let's see uh, Gizmo in action, guys. Let's hit the running portion of the video right now. Go Gizmo. So the speed on is probably about 18 miles an hour. So believe it or not, as heavy as it is, it actually moves all right. Got a little bit of a squeaky noise. I think it's one of my bearings. I gotta definitely oil something. A lot of weight on this car. I know that's what it is. all that articulation with the rear end. Runs really good. He's trying to run me over. And that's going to be a wrap on this bad boy. I want to appreciate you guys for uh, watching my videos. Once again, apologize for the delay of this one. I promise you we've got a whole lot more cool stuff coming up, guys. So please hit a like. I would love for you to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.